because I noticed I noticed very significantly that my microphone was much quieter than uh, um, Let's start the stream with this yeah my <laughs> what the hell is that I just popped up on my fucking game it's a fox these. butt Fox, Send that to Shannon. Somebody took so what it is is somebody um there's like a online thing with the photos and whatnot. Somebody took a photo of the fox butt and posted it online. So what is the actual English name for this game? It's today's today's menu for MEF Family. Every day today's menu for MEF Family. Okay. Um. Every day with the music note. I can't add the music note. Menu in all caps. For Amy in all caps. I'm just going to do fade. In parentheses. Um. Are we live? Um, yeah, hold on. Let's see. Yep, sure enough, the uh, tag on... On Twitch has the uh, music note in there. Yay! The music note. Okay. <clears throat> Fry position. Walnut slaps the rebound. <laughs> Am I goody? Am I Gucci product? I'm kidding. <clears throat> Go ahead and kill me now. You were, we're live. Let me just... Okay. And make, make sure to like... Yeah. Yes. Yes. When playing with the Joy-Con, please follow the procedures. I need this bit. I'm so excited. How pretty. I still what? can't. I still can't believe they made this. This is a real game that exists, oh, and it's in English. They? This is brilliant. It it really is. I just. It's one of those. I appreciate that it exists. I'm being taggy. So much. Oh, it's you. You're tagging me. Hello. We're playing the game. We're playing the game. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a leg. I'm full of sushi. Did we get the uh, notification? Yes, we did. Okay. I wouldn't know because I have 90% of this thing needed. I, I got it. So cute, so long. Are we ready? Not yet. Not yet. I gotta show the links. But I wanna play. Delingo is like, you're ready for new lessons. I already did my lessons for the day. Who is? Duolingo. Who? Since my Spanish. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Since I'm learning Espanol, I can pretty much say hi and what I I want a cheese sandwich. I so I know how <laughs> I know how to tell someone in Spanish that I don't know how to speak Spanish. I know that too. Yeah, I know I, how, I know how to ask someone in Spanish if they know how to speak English. Um, well, which is that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I know how to ask where the bathroom is. Yeah. And what's your name? Yeah, I know, I know that too. Actually, I don't know how to ask somebody what their name is. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> I know how to ask for a cheese sandwich. Queso. Oh, 
Okay, that should do it. All right, we're gonna. Can I start? Can I play the cookie? Meat? Yes, let's do it. Um, so I have absolutely no idea what to expect other than all the art is super cute. So I, it's interesting oh. the way they've done the models for this because they're it's like the Fire Emblems cutscenes, yeah. where it's like these pseudo two D three D models that just look extremely appealing. Um, interestingly enough, the Emiya Gohan anime was made by Photobol, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, they got different. Yeah. Seba, let's go. I think that's the dish he makes in the first episode, if I'm not oh. mistaken. It is New Year's Eve at the Emiya home. After finishing up, after finishing up at the end of the year big cleaning, Shiro begins to prepare Toshi, Toshi, Soba for dinner. Saber makes a surprising request to Shiro, asking him to help with the cooking. This is so cute. I feel like I hear a gremlin causing problems in the other room, but I don't know if it's her causing problems or if it's a litter box. I think it's a litter box, yeah. It's toy pooping. <laughs> Y'all can't see it. He's shaking his head at me. <clears throat> so the last, ever since 2017, the snowman. <laughs> snowman. <laughs> that means there's a uh, serial killer on the loose. That is a reference that I hope nobody gets. Um, but yeah, so they've had, Taipei has had a habit of releasing, you can turn it um, They've had a habit of releasing um, new properties on New Year's, or at least announcing them. And, uh, yeah, of course it is. But, um, They've, they've always had a habit of announcing all of their new properties for the coming year on New Year's. So I'm pretty sure the first episode of the Emiya Gohan anime shorts aired on New Year's. So that makes sense why this was like the first episode, the first dish that he made. Um, and to be completely honest, I have not seen all of them. Now, our little community, our fan base, essentially exploded every time there was a new episode because of all the nice, wholesome, like fan servicey moments of the characters just doing cute stuff and being happy, um, and how amazing that was. So, like, I sort of secondhand absorbed through osmosis all of the major events that happened, but uh, didn't really. I haven't watched all of them yet. We pl we want to do a marathon of all. All of them then that's why so we're probably gonna have some people over some. yeah I, I, I want to have a big gathering where we all watch them together as a marathon and i think that's probably the best way of doing it <clears throat> i like the models i think they look really good yeah i think i think these character models are very appealing now there was again this was the anime was made by ufotable but they decided to go with a much more colorful uh, palette for all the characters so all the all the characters have like this almost like pastel washed out sort of look to them but it doesn't look bad and that look specifically that look is translated very well into the game here um i don't know what these options do in terms of gameplay it might just be like a it might be like a difficulty thing or a, or just a dialogue thing but <laughs> He's so cute. I say that very rarely about Shiro. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm surprised she's not like she's like foolish of you to assume I would hurt myself with a blade. <laughs> well, I felt like the other one would be like more condescending towards her as personality wise. Yeah, well, that's kind I'll of the thing. Me. That's kind of the thing. Is like Shiro is just kind of condescending to her in general. I don't want to be. Well, not he doesn't. I don't think he knows any other way to be because he's. He's kind of, like, he's used to being independent himself, but he also, given the opportunity to be, like, to serve somebody else, he's going to bend over backwards to do it, and she's just like, nope. I won't let you. <clears throat> yeah, we have pure wholesomeness, so I guess, so this is, I guess, your instructions. Peel the vein shrimp. 
Slice tail tips, remove water, rub it in chopped potato starch and sake, rinse and pat dry. If I want to come a lot closer to the microphone. Cut the shrimps, place it face down, mix egg water. I'm not reading all this. I'm not gonna write this. You're gonna walk through me with all this, right, Shiro? I'm not gonna read this and remember this. Let's hope so. I mean, I haven't, I haven't played um, <laughs> Cookie Mama, so I don't know what the formula is like there. <clears throat> this I can't. Oh my god! <laughs> These are little hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm so easily amused. Oh shit, here we go. Cut the green onion. Kamaboko? And mustard spinach. Spinach. I'm assuming Spin there's <laughs> spinch. Spinch. Are you a spinch main? Yuzu zest. <laughs> Sheng is here. He says directions unclear. Lancer is stuck in the dishwasher. <laughs> It sounds about right. Yeah. No, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to him just being like owning a okay. uh, a fish stand at the farmers market. Like he's just gonna be a uh, a seafood uh, merchant. Time thing. <clears throat> so yeah, you'll have to tell me. Like, I've never played a Cooking Mama game, so I don't know this how. This is not the same. But I had a feeling that there was going to be some kind of input-intensive mechanic that's like, depending on your execution of it, is going to determine how well we do at it. God, I just, I can't, we need to go back and play Overcooked again soon as well. <laughs> we, need to, we need to have Shannon play that with us. Yeah, well, Shannon will be ready to fucking kill me, at least. Good, that's, that's how we know we're having a good time, right? <laughs> I'm, uh... Boil the soba. Funny that we're cooking this because I, I, I was talking about. I was gonna say soba. you you should have some hands on experience with this because you literally I've are never doing actually it. Kicked, uh, cook, kicked, cooked. Hello. Step one: kick the noodles. <laughs> kick the noodles. Joe's boss. <laughs> Make them suffer. <laughs> me. I think I think it's uh, Shayna's with us as well, or at least was. Um, saying that the characters look very soft. They're very soft babies. Soft bebes. Bebes. Where's Ren? Um. Wait, what is that button? Do I... Oh, the Baha! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't really read that well. Directions unclear. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna move that down to the yellow area where it's ideal and keep it there. No! What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know if you're supposed to keep it in the box or away from the box. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's supposed to keep it in the box. Ha ha ha! I don't make any fucking sense instruction wise. Fucked it up! I might have to <laughs> Ching is like, uh, Tiger would be asking, when can we eat? And I'm like, Tiger's like the final boss no, of this game. Like, when can't we eat Tiger? We're not eating Tiger. No, no, that's, that's, I don't think that's what he, what he means. Oh, apparently losing yeah. game audio? Um, let's try that again. Okay. Final results. I got two hearts. Oh, I gotta read. I gotta get three to get the memory piece. I gotta do this. Alright, let's try that. I, I locked the volume on the, uh, on OBS. We should be good now. <clears throat> But yeah, no, Tiger would be the final boss of this, where she would just be, like, demanding you yeah, every five seconds. This. Yes. I gotta retry this, because I only got three cards on my need. Okay. No, he actually, he's like, yeah, yeah when, yeah, when was... do we dice up Tiger and no. serve her in Hot Pot? I don't think that would be very good. No. That's called cannibalism. So, Gilgamesh, when we have, he's like, that's... Is he in this? No, no, oh, uh, maybe, who knows, but that's what he'd want to eat. <laughs> it looked like a snack. 
<laughs> Alright, let's try this again where I don't fuck it up when I get... So did you fuck up the noodles part? I really fucked up the noodles part. But I also missed something here as well, so... You have to... Did you have to get a perfect rating? Apparently you get something if you get all three hearts. Okay. I just figured you'd get a better score for the next... Like, it doesn't prevent you from unlocking the next meal. It didn't, but it... Um, I want to... <laughs> Completionist. <laughs> Perfectionist. <laughs> See, so... Uh, you get unlock the next episode, acquire snapshot, and acquire memory piece. I want the memory piece. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Huh. <laughs> Alright, now that I actually know how to do this. Alright, while you're doing that, I'm going to let this video upload really quick. I'm concentrating, sorry. Yes, I got it! <laughs> Sorry, so just... She looks happy! Oh, so apparently you get experience points, so that works. Sweet! I got the... Saber story. Like, it's a puzzle piece! Oh, okay, so those, those are the memory pieces? So yes. I'm assuming it just unlocks some wholesome... Picture. Yeah. I want all of the things. Second half of the episode. Ooh! I'm glad we're playing this after we ate something, because I'd be like, fuck, it's starving. Yeah, we also ate Asian food as well. Yes. On top of that. As you drink your, what, chai tea drink or whatever? Chai tea. You <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Fucking cute. <clears throat> I really like the dynamic movement of the eyes. I do too. Oh my god. She's so cute. <laughs> Me savor this moment. <laughs> Was that a pun? I mean, yeah. I thought you said savor this moment, and I'm like, I'm fucking in your life. Joey's here. He's like, this is pretty quality. I love it. I do too. It's wholesomeness that we absolutely did not deserve, but we will not look the gift horse in the mouth. I just want a head pat. Right. I want to give her head pats. I agree with that statement. This has got to be also such a... Can you imagine what a relief this must have been for, like, Shiro's voice actor, who is... I've literally played this character for, like, 16 years, 17 years, and this is the first time I don't have to yell and scream and be in agony <laughs> for half of the recording. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so we're so okay, have a good life, but so... <laughs> It has big ambitions. It has very big plans for us. Oh, Wesley's here as well. Hello. You've come to join in, in the uh, wholesome cooking game as well. I love her. So, also, <laughs> huge, uh, huge shout-outs to our friends uh, Amanda and Graham. They used to live in Jacksonville, but now they live all the way out in, like, Portland or whatever. But they are awesome cooks, but they also 
um, have a cooking, I think a cooking YouTube show, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check, but they have a cooking Instagram where they live stream a lot of like uh, international dishes and a lot of multicultural stuff. And they've actually made a lot of the dishes that appeared on Emmy Gohan um, with a pretty accurate degree of authenticity to them. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and I would, man, would I love to be able to like hang out with them and see that process in person and like see all that. Blush. Yes. Well, actually, I think this is where I saw the whole broiling the fish and the aluminum foil yes, and whatnot. Yes, yes, yeah. I did see it through that, and it's actually really good, except I didn't do the same flavors. I mostly did, like, dill and lemon. Yeah. I love that kind of stuff. Don't blush. <laughs> it just makes me think of the, the dill pickle conversation from that one RTAA I sent you. Oh, my you. God. I, the only, my favorite part about that is Gus literally going, what the fuck is bread and butter pickles and sweet pickles get that shit out of here yeah those, shit he's nasty. Like, those are disgusting they are disgusting have you ever eaten them uh, probably and not even knowing it well, yeah they're so gross if it's not dill i don't want it it's also it's also great to think about too that like of all of the anime that has either cooking or like goofy comic relief scenes of the characters eating or like how many like shonen shows there are where the main character has to like scarf down ridiculous amounts of food like that's that's such a common trope in anime where all of oh, the there's, there's the fish the fish but that's such a common trope in anime where the character like scarfs down food with like reckless abandon and it's supposed to be this this parody of how the japanese culture is very centered around manners and and good table etiquette and it's supposed to be like this oh gosh it's so unorthodox and uh so <laughs> force he's forced to buy fresh salmon from lancer <laughs> who, lancer's like do it or i'll fucking stab you <laughs> do it which as i as i established he is in fact running a uh a shop at the local um uh fresh market yeah. with that's a, a a food stand i quite couldn't think of the name of that but i but, literally just said kick instead of cook right kick the noodles kick them noodles that's what the uh the re-upload of this is gonna be kick the noodles <laughs> but um Sammy. god that sounds good mushroom and butter and bacon oh, if that's easy to make i'll do it we, we have done it, haven't we? Not here. Not at this house. I haven't made any fish in this house. Oh, yeah. But where I was going with that is, like, so, every every anime sort of aspires to get to that point of, like, you know, this, this gluttony joke is part of our identity, but fate, and they really downplay it with Saber, like, Saber's not, she doesn't fulfill that trope to the nth degree like a lot of other characters do, but yet she became so well known for it, and the cooking scenes became so iconic, I guess, in this franchise, that we have an entire spin-off game for it, or entire spin-off anime and game for it. So... Jing says, Cooking shows are actually very cruel. You're forcing animators who can't afford good food to draw and animate delicious food that they do not have the means to procure, but are forced to draw anyways. Yeah, that's... Well, actually, um... So there's a great video, um by a guy who I've recently started like really getting into his his videos and following him. Sam knows who I'm talking about. It's a guy named Dan Olson and he did a video about um the subgenre of cooking videos online sort of as an alternative to cooking shows on traditional like broadcast television. And um he was saying that they're a huge pain in the ass to make because you the average person can't reliably do it. Because you have to have a big kitchen, you have to have adequate lighting, you have to have a good place to set up your equipment, you have to you dirty a bunch of dishes. It's so impractical. Sometimes food that tastes good doesn't come out looking good. And so it's kinda hard to convince somebody that the food you made tastes good when it looks like slop. 
Um, you know what I mean? Just stuff like that. And it's funny because he actually worked behind the scenes in the the television uh, on the production side of a lot of food shows, and you know, sort of made an, a um, what do you call it analysis of the production of making food content on YouTube and stuff like that. Why? Is my only <laughs> card. He's, like, he's like, I'm watching you in the background as I'm currently unlocking three Switches worth of Smash characters. So you're grinding unlocks on three different people's accounts, I'm, I guess, I'm guessing? That sounds like a pain in the ass. Well, evidently, people <laughs> came to him and were like, hey, are you, here, you, can, you can knock this out. Take care of it. Yes. <laughs> She's probably a separate, um, separate arc or a separate season. So it gives you the actual recipe. Oh, he's here. Hello. <clears throat> She's lurking in the background when you least expect it. When you least expect it. So I don't, I don't think all I know is anything about Fate, but you don't have to know anything about Fate to know this is a wholesome cooking game. Here we go! <laughs> She's so cute. We give her fucking head paps. I like this because this is, like, the only time where I, I don't dislike Shira at any point. Like, Yeah. It's his least... It's his least problematic phase. Like, he looks so and, fucking cute. Right. He's, he's, he's entirely useful. Like, he's using all of his practical skills. <laughs> Shang is like, it gets much easier when I unlock Ike. I'm not very good with Pikachu. <laughs> we like I just Ike. I just remember the the um, amazing campaign that Brawl had. Where you got to like play linearly through the different characters. Throughout like a proper like single player mode. I like that too. Chop chop. Give me chop chop. Okay, that one's faster. Oh, great. I have to do really good to get the fucking memory piece. Yeah. Next up is the salmon. I'll wrap the cup ingredients, butter, and prepare a fresh salmon. Foil, please. Steam bake. This in the frying pan. What is this? Yeah, su subspace emissary. Is that just what the is that just what the campaign was called in Brawl? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> as much as I like really as much as I really detest Smash as a series, I really do want to go and play that. Cuz technically, I think we both have a copy or maybe I left that copy with my brother and we just have yours. I know we have a couple of duplicates. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you have to um, flip it every time it gets to... I don't know. I don't know. About to find out, I guess. I guess so. Flip it now. This is great. What if I turned this up? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like anxiety, anxiety inducing. <laughs> I'm like... Where does it need to be? Doing? I'm assuming they Does both... Does that need to be... Oh, oh. Oh, bye. <laughs> I see what it is, yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh, I fucked it up. I won't restart it, but I will have to go back and fix it. Yeah, I mean, this game I is... only got two. Game's not exactly going anywhere. No, it's not going anywhere. No one wants to see it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's like, time to consume dry fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much. It's just, it's crispy, okay? Crispy. She's so cute. Oh, we fucking make it fishy! Let's go. It looks good. Oh, yeah. Looks moist. Well, it's Sorry. supposed to, even though we yeah. totally dried it out. We totally. 
and actually, you know what? Salmon would be awful dry. Yes, it is. Um, I like a certain other fish. If you like breaded it and it was kind of crispy, it would be good. No. Salmon? No. Salmon's got to be juicy. I don't, I don't like any kind of dry fish. I lied. I'm hungry. <laughs> you didn't finish all of your sushi earlier. Oh, this is true. Oh, it's trying to get nauseous. Because life sucks for me sometimes. Like, I can't, hang on, sorry. Getting distracted. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna snag that. <laughs> Kitty. Shank, Shank says he's only ever shot and edited one cooking show in his life, but it was an awful experience. Yeah, that, I, I, that's what I would expect. Sounds about right. Not to mention, like I've, I've really wanted to help. I, I know we've, I've talked to Shannon about making videos. I don't know what kind of videos she'd want to make, but I want to help her with it really bad. Um, and so I would love to work together with her was something that she'd want like really wants to make what is it like we've we've talked about how she wants to get into making videos and like making stuff like that because she has she did so much of that stuff in high school but hasn't really done anything with it yet there's nothing quite like being hungry while someone is cooking for three hours next to you over and over again you can't have any of it yeah, that's why we ate before playing this. <laughs> Hopefully you only had like half of your sushi. I ate more than half of my sushi. Where's Ren? Sorry. <laughs> my bias is coming through. Where's best girl? We get uh we get OP ponytail Ren in this too. Oh shit. We cook. didn't actually see him buy the fish from Lancer, though. No. I'm a little disappointed by that. Yeah, we need a, we need to cook together. <clears throat> Take an easy recipe. Right. It is also a miracle that I've never, like, ever had stitches because I'm so klutzy with everything. And then there was that one time John hit me in the chest with a knife, but I wasn't it was like the flat part of the knife, not the, like the what? stabby part. I was gonna Obviously, say. I'm fine, but he like slammed the knife down and it ricocheted. What happened? What happened? Thanks, OBS. No. We can still hear it. I hear it on the switch down there. I found it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Technical difficulty. Oh, Michelle doesn't know how to sit still and accidentally unplugged the switch. But yeah, so John slammed the knife down. It ricocheted, and then the like flat part of the knife hit me in the chest. And then he screamed at me, "Are you okay?" And then ran off before he actually got the answer. <laughs> Wait, are, ooh, it's for Sakura. I just read Sakura. <laughs> Joey's like so th I guess they're talking about um oh God. food for Continue. Talking about food for <laughs> fighting game tournaments. Oh um, Joey's like have a can of Chef Bar Boardy in the sauna for the tournament. <laughs> Cook it and give it to the winner. That's amazing. She's so cute. <laughs> Did did I know that she was born in the spring? I mean, I would explain her name, but. 
ちゃん、ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃん。ちゃ
So sushi vinegar? Is that what that is? Yes. What one well, is it's, that? It's like basically rice right vinegar. I do. They're getting harder, aren't they? <laughs> well, this is not my area of expertise, so... Avocado... Man, well, he, man, he already did all... He already did the hard part with the avocado. He already, like, took the seed out and peeled it and cut it in half, like... It doesn't help that it wants to go off screen, you yeah. So what what is the purpose of this with sushi? Oh, fuck. This is the dessert. Okay, I was gonna say like Man, I wanna go to H Mart and get some mochi again. Ooh, we should go soon. I want the melon mochi. Should ask Joe uh, ask Joey if he wants to go to uh Shoya or Kura soon. Yeah. I, I, so I mentioned talking, I was talking to my brother John about, um, AWA. And I was like, wow, shit, I haven't started working on any cosplays. I don't even know where to start. That was, <laughs> it's not happening. There's no way we're making anything new for AWA. But I want, <laughs> you know, Joey's like, did somebody say show you in all caps? Just fucking tell me what. <laughs> Man, okay. if I can if I can get a day where I'm like off early enough on a Friday, like if I can get out of that looks fucking good. If I can get off early enough on a Friday and be off on Saturday, then that's probably what I need to do. It. Um, <laughs> Shane wants to go to show you. Um, hey, Shayna should go to show you with us as well. If she's still watching. Place is good. I'm ready to go. It's been way too long. Ah, you all could Yeah, I didn't fuck anything up. Definitely not. So cute. Of course, she doesn't just eat the entire thing one bite. <laughs> yeah, party yes, show you. Let's go. I do too. I I'll wanna... never forget that I've had two dinners. Just of the show was so fucking good. Two dinners. <laughs> yeah, I ate dinner and then I went and then I still fucking ate one more dinner. I'm like, how did I do that? It just again another um, RTA reference where he read the menu the wrong way and like ordered like four dinners. <laughs> And then, uh, that's what Brad does. When we, when we go to show you, Brad gets like four different entrees and just does it like dim sum style. What is that? North, Northern China Eatery afterwards. Is that another place on Buford Highway? You know where I really want to go on Buford Highway again? Because you're drinking that tea is the little tea house we went to. Um, because I'll never forget we went there. Um, <laughs> we, went, we went there, uh, um, Accurate. Yeah. Um, so, we, the one little tea house, um, it's, it, I can't remember exactly where it is on the strip, but then we went there with, um, I think it was, um, Joey, I think it was you, you and I, uh, James and Trip. I remember because Trip had the Switch right when it first came out. He was playing the Mario uh, Raven Rab the Raymond Raven Rabbits game on the Switch, and I was like, I was watching him play. I'm like, this is the future of video games right here. And here we are, like five years later, um, four four years later now. Yeah, playing a, a fake game on the Switch. Um, Chef Liu. 
near Doraville. I I guess I never went there, unfortunately. Every time you say tea house, though, I just think of like an act, like one of the like ones that I went with with my grandmother growing up. There was one in Cartersville that was really good, but it was actually like little teacups and. Yeah, that's kind of what this place yeah. is, but it's more like more Asian themed. Oh, that's a sakura. <clears throat> But well, where's red? Like, this is nice. She's gotta be in there somewhere. So, do we wanna do this fishy with Saiba? Um. Uh, wanna... Yeah, let's go with the fish. 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 Children stay in your home. What? Oh. Oh, I see. Cause this, I did the the the. Uh -huh. So it's a different timeline yeah, then. Yeah. Different timeline. We're gonna go this way. That answers our question. Um, what do I work on Friday? Let me see. Shing, are you in town right now? I guess he is. Um, I will most likely not be able to do it this Friday, because, like, yeah. Tropical style curry with summer veggie bowls. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I definitely cannot do it this Friday because um, I work until at least 10 p.m. Only six hours! Yeah, I mean, I've made that drive before, but... <laughs> With a six-hour drive, would that be worth it for Shoya? Probably. <laughs> Probably. And they don't open until 5, so... Yeah, they have different outfits on. Yes, they do. Speaking of these two, um, all three of the Heaven's Field movies are now available on, on digital download through major streaming services. So I was just looking at the PSN store earlier, and all three of them, you can watch all three Heaven's Field movies on, on demand, basically, for like $3 each. What? Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> and everything else we started. But Why potentially not in that order, but maybe. What do you mean? You started watching Brains. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I don't want to go back and do our five first. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, so, so here's an idea. So in mid-July, I have a whole week off. I have nine days off. Um, if we if we could plan for anything, it would be then, because most likely, um, I most likely will not have not have the optimal days off between now and then. But um, July 10th, I think, starts my vacation. Um, I hope I have July 9th off, because that would be Brad's wedding. But July 8th is inventory, so I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely cannot be um, off. Yeah, we could do a we could do a Heaven's Field Part Three viewing at my house because I have the I also have the Blu-ray. Um, and uh, I mean, it would be pretty practical now that. 90% of people that I know are vaccinated now, so... Um, the only thing that was kind of disappointing was, like, we streamed the, um... We streamed the first movie on Discord, and everybody had a good time. We were going to continue with Part 2 and Part 3, but nobody really, like, engaged with it. Like, when we, 
<laughs> like when I, when I mentioned, oh hey, let's, let's do part two. Nobody really jumped on it. Nobody was like, yeah yeah, let's do part two. It's just kind of been sitting on the um, on the uh, back burner with nobody really engaging with it. So, but I think there's a few. If I if I really kind of pick out the people that have always kind of come to the in person screenings, then uh, we can get a good crowd for part three of my house. So I'll throw the idea out there. I mean, I've obviously I've wanted to do it ever since I got the Blu-ray, so. And she will be busy from the 7th through the 15th. <clears throat> oh, your birthday's in July, too! Mine's July 5th. I actually have the day off now. Zucchini and eggplant? Yeah. So cute! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you've got to be a gentleman and, and tie her uh, apron for her. Um, no, the, oh, the, the gayness will happen if Medusa shows up, which hopefully will happen. I'm pretty sure she's in this. She's in the anime. Where's my husband? No, I mean you, but not you. Yeah, yeah. He'll, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he's also in this at some point. Here, Archer. Do we get to have the do we get to have the volleyball game in this? That would be the best mini game ever in this. Just have the volleyball game. I think. Yeah, you gotta keep it in there. So it seems like there are different skills you can unlock to make some of these things more effective. So it would probably be, if you're trying to get like the ultimate unlock thing, it probably would be best to go back when you have those skills because it seems like they, you know what I mean? Like it sh the thing up in the corner said like skill active none. So there could be like skills later that make it, make it easier. <clears throat> What is what is he doing? Just trying to gauge the temperature of it, like let it simmer until. I don't know. I gotta understand this step of the of the cooking. The start bonus time. What's happening? Oh no! I have to get the gauge to a certain point, and then that activates. Yeah, I guess, but like, um, I'm like 25 minutes out of Atlanta, pretty much. North, north of Atlanta. Wow, I did really bad on that one. Soccer is now playable. Sorry, hands. <laughs> shakes, no one, shakes with excitement. Shakes with like <laughs> yeah, that looks really good. That looks really good. No this. A bent ass spoon. It's <laughs> like <laughs> so one of our spoons after we tried her. Eat that like ice cream. I've been spoons on ice cream all the time. I'm, I managed not so to bend this movie. Anyway. Also, like, I'm not making this up. That's a bent ass spoon. Like Maybe it's supposed to be that bent. Maybe, I guess. But... Maybe? I've been to ceiling fan. Was that kind of cool? Um, up 75, so like we're we are literally like less than 10 minutes away from KSU. <laughs> then they banged. Well, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> 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 the 
This is the good timeline where everything good happens to everybody. Her sister, Rin. Sister? Spoilers! <laughs> This is the good timeline. This is the good timeline. That was like, yeah, if we are going to do a Heaven's Field Part 3 screening, that's like some of the best moments of that is where they, like, after everything is all said and done, where they they get to finally kind of reconcile that. Well, <clears throat> now I know why Ray buys a fucking gallon, half gallon of this. Cause yeah. It's really fucking good. Fried rice. I love fried rice. I had some earlier. <sighs> My teriyaki chicken and beef. I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure yeah, Joey, I guess we'll just have to talk about it. Like I said, I can, I can, I would like to do one at the house with the people that are likely to show up. And, um, uh, try to probably shoot for the first weekend of my vacation to try to swing it around then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, there's there's like a weird texture on her eyes and like the shadowed part of her hair that's interesting to me. You can't you, when when she's the primary subject of the frame, you'll be able to see it. I just want them to show the frame where she's... Okay, look at her eyes. See, like, the shading? The weird lines? Yeah. Yeah, but I just... I noticed them with hers. It just looks odd. She also still has kind of the dead soccer eyes that she always has. But I'm saying she doesn't have like her. You see what I'm saying? Like she doesn't she doesn't have her her true eyes. Yeah. Her like unfucked up eyes. <laughs> Again, the, one of the best parts of right. part three. But I mean, she still looks cute. Yeah. 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 Okay, his eyes will turn gray eventually. <laughs> Along with everything else. I just like how, like, they move like people. Yeah. See, it says unlock additional amount, so I have to click it. Click it yet. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. At least they give you plenty of options to where you can go back and, you know, try things a little bit differently. Okay. Let's try it. Then, I'm going to tell you about the name of the name. Let's try it. Well, she might, um, she might come over at some point. Maybe she comes over to eat this. I don't know. Yeah. 
準備完了ですまあ頑張ろう <laughs> There's the pork. Yeah, I guess he is dicing it, so that would be a lot of uh, a lot of chops there. These are definitely getting a lot harder as you're going through, though. Well, yeah, and I'm so bad at time-based shit like this. <laughs> I used to be really uh, really bad at this kind of stuff, like uh, rhythm-based stuff, but I did get better at it over the years, and now it's not as daunting. I remember way back in the day, um, there was a like button press mini game like this in a game i think it was in i think it was in the second jack and daxter game me and my brother were playing it and there was a rhythm based mini game like this you had to do to progress through the story and he and i both just got so stuck on it for like days before we can actually finish it and uh and move on to the next part of the game and uh so i have this like vitriolic hatred for like rhythm based like button matching mini games like that that are required um but if the whole game is rhythm based i mean this is this is no different than like you know the miku games or um the like persona dancing games or any of those other like rhythm based games basically Um, no, I don't think so. That being said, though, I don't really understand the, um... <clears throat> yeah. I don't really understand the, the type of person that goes to... Like, you see them in every con and every uh, gaming room where they play, like, the rhythm-based games... For like hours on end and they keep coming back to it over and over again <laughs> looks like he, he uh, diced up the part pretty well Shang says he's a former competitive DDR player I'd say I'm not gonna let him Oh, he says Jack Stewart was an asshole about this whole thing. You know what it really was? And, like, I didn't realize how much it was back in the day when me and my brother played it. Because um, that was, like, 2003, so we were younger. But um, we didn't really have much of a problem with most of it. But, yeah, people look back on it and say, man, that game had some hard missions. Um, yeah, no, good on you, though, for being good at DDR. Because I, I had uh, DDR Extreme and Extreme 2 on the PS2. And I loved the hell out of those games. But then I went to, like, one of those arcade places where you have the real, like, authentic arcade machine or DDR with the uh, the metal floor instead of, like, the fold-out mat that you had for the console version. And holy crap. There is Rin. There is. Yeah. Yes. The, um, watching those guys, like, grip the handlebars on the back of the stage and just float in the air with their feet hitting the different buttons on the higher difficulty settings. I can't remember what all the difficulty settings were called, but like, it seems like after you pass like the medium one, then DDR stops being dancing and starts being just absolute rhythmic insanity. There she is. There she is! Her hair is very flowy and I love it. Yeah. And her, her, her uh, bows have physics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we get uh, OP ponytail over in this as well. I think, because I know she does it in the anime. That's like part of the opening. 
you're not going to admonish him for having not eaten already? <clears throat> She's like, well, if I'm coming over to your house, the least you could do is make me lunch. <clears throat> the most advanced DDR players don't really move their feet anymore. It's all uh, toe heel rocking motion. <laughs> he says, my feet are about two inches too small to do it effectively. I really want to watch people do this. Like, I really want to see um, competitive DDR playing at, at its highest. Because um, I'm sure there is a absolutely brutal technique to it. But like I said, I played DDR in like the medium difficulty. And um, it was fun. I liked it a lot. But I know there's like, what, six, six difficulty levels to, um, to DDR? I mean, there was a, there was at the time with Extreme and Extreme Two. At least I think there was six difficulty levels. あ、そう、それ。あ、いいわね。いいけど、オムライスを作ったことない人間に対して、なんでハードルを上げてくるわけ？大丈夫。俺がサポートする。there it is. <laughs> There's the soon. <laughs> I get a feeling she's being sarcastic. Yeah, that's, that'll, that'll appeal to her sensibilities. Because she'll take you up on the challenge, but she won't admit when she's not up for the challenge. Like, she'll be like, shut up, I'm, I know what I'm doing. And like, what the fuck am I doing? I mean, if he said sorry, she'd be like... ふわふわのオムレツをチキンライスに乗せたオムライス。口の中で今回トウサカにはこのようなお料理を用意しようと思う。Right. <laughs> 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 Let's get ready to cook. Let's fucking go. I miss my long hair. Well, I'm assuming you get you get her at uh, um, what do you call it? As playable after this. Yeah, they're definitely getting faster. It's actually pretty good. That's a lot of, lot of perfects for how fast that was. <laughs> I did it. Okay, five, five, uh, five, uh, little difficulty levels. What the hell? He made the cut as the 15th seed in the 16th seed tournament, and I got my ass kicked by a man with one leg. Decided to hang it up after that. Wow, that's uh, I mean, good for him. That's that's pretty awesome. That reminds me of um, the one uh, speedrunner half coordinated where he plays a bunch of like really hard speed games, like platinum games, one handed. Um, not necessarily by choice. I mean, he does kind of have a a bit of a handicap that requires that, but he's almost kind of turned it into a uh, strategy that benefits him. <clears throat> Make it the omelet. I'm so good with my Shiro. <laughs> Shiro. I I didn't see what he said. I, he there. literally says you'll be fine since you're so good with your hands. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh fuck. Uh huh. Okay. Keep an eye on. Okay. 
Adjust heat. <coughs> Lift the cooking <coughs> ingredients. Press A with the correct timing while watching cooking level of the interior and exterior of the ingredients to lift them. Keep an eye on the food color, the amount of steam, and the change of sound. Okay. So I think you have to increase the heat to where the um, inside thing... Yeah, that. <laughs> to where, like, it, it, you hit the pink at the same time. Mm. <laughs> well, burnt that. I fucked that up. A whole whopping 570. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> I did great. Cute. So where's that good? Ichiyo kansei ne? I'm assuming we'll only see glimpses of the other... of, like, the servant characters that are not <laughs> Saber. <laughs> like, they're bow physics. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll get some screen time with Archer and Lancer. I'd be surprised, but the one I will probably be the least surprised to see is if Medusa shows up, but I will fucking scream. How loud? Why? Why are you laughing? I just, I just love that that like, shows up on the stream, too. Like, <laughs> save for this moment. I'm gonna steal this happiness right here. <laughs> Preserve this joy. Special fluffy gooey omelet rice. Special. Special fluffy and gooey. Gungo. <clears throat> Alright, I say we do one more and then we call it a night. Ow. So we're gonna do more of this on stream. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. I like this. I'm having fun. How long have we been streaming for? Just over an hour. No! Doesn't feel like it. Full moon! And she's back for dinner. <laughs> It's the same day. It's like, I, I don't doubt that she would probably enjoy camping and be good at it, in spite of the fact that she had kind of a pampered, like, posh life a little bit there. あ、they're gonna turn on the TV and hear about all hear about the stabbings and the gas leaks in the city. Totally unrelated to anything going on. Right. Kimito 
right? It's like, are they moon shaped? They are moon shaped. Yeah, he even he says it. Like, they're, they're real. It's simple, but it's. それは面白そうね。でもそれだけだと足りないかも。何かもう少し欲しくない？大丈夫。ちゃんともう一品考えてやる。さっき商店街へ買い物に行ったら、ちょうどタイムセールで野菜が安かったんだ。だから、ついで
so the pot is the pot is like rising and falling. I guess he's like turning up off and turning the heat up and down or something. Like I don't know what he's doing. Stirring. But there's like no animation for him actually stirring. Like one time. Well, I didn't do it. That didn't happen. Wait, is there another game left? Oh, hold on, man. Oh. Can't forget about the dumplings. <laughs> this, this timing is getting really tight in there. I can't imagine what the ones at the very end of the game are going to be like. But it does beg the question, though, is it seems like the designation of which of these are easier or harder is somewhat arbitrary. Because I promise you that, like, these dishes are not any harder to make. Like, the, the one, this one... This one is not any harder to make. Oh yeah, you got the the minimum, more than the minimum at least. But like this one, <laughs> I got the I got the bare ass bones. This one's not any harder to make than like the first one was, for practical cooking terms. But um, it's just sort of the natural progression of the game's difficulty and keeping things varied. Once we watch this little cutscene again. <laughs> the ponytail uh, disappears and the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the, the bow physics come back in. I noticed that too, like when the models first pop on screen, the physics just kind of, the, the uh, rigging of the model sort of kicks in and the physics kind of go crazy, like her bangs were just flopping around. Not that I'm, not that I'm knocking the game or anything, because like I said, these models are really, really pretty. They might make you use multiple buttons at <laughs> I just had this weird um, idea of like him inviting um, Kuzuki and Caster over <laughs> for food. <laughs> Can you imagine? No! And it's like wholesome. Kuzuki just kind of is all polite and doesn't really say anything. But like, um, how, uh, Shang is asking how much the game was. I think it was 39, 49, I think. I, th I think it, I'm pretty sure it was 49. On uh, on it's Switch exclusive as well. I'm almost certain. Okay. I'm almost certain it was forty nine. Which is kind of a lot for what it is, but we still appreciate it. I don't know. I'm, I'm almost certain it was 49. Oh, a baby. 
A bean is in the room. A bean? Yeah, 49. I just found it on the site here. I think you knocked out the cable again. I did, I did, I did. Which actually works out just fine because we're getting ready to end. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, oh. we, we will see you guys next time. So, um, some of you may have noticed that the uh, I just concluded the Grand Order video in the retrospective series, which means the next logical step in terms of, like, major... Type Moon releases is Extella. So, um, the next, how I'm going to go about actually producing that video is going to be I'm going to stream all of Extella here on Twitch on the hardest difficulty and uh, go for the Platinum Trophy, which is something I obviously have not done yet. So I'm going to do everything in the game, record it from beginning to end, hardest difficulty, every single dialogue scene with every single character, um, probably the uh, the side stories as well, we'll see, and then um, use that footage in the final video. So if you guys are not already following me here, uh, make sure to do so, and I will be streaming Excella very soon. So, But I will probably be just absolutely swamped over the next several weeks until mid-July when I have that, that vacation time in because I'll probably be working like 13-hour days, six days a week, just absolutely a slave to my job until we get past July 8th and then I'll be in the clear. So, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you guys next time.